what is going on you guys happy thursday welcome back to hidden gems tarot if you are new welcome okay so first of all i want to wish you guys a happy happy thursday today is the 21st okay stepping into scorpio season sun in scorpio i believe tomorrow sun goes into scorpio okay so let's see what we got what messages we have change top of the deck self-esteem okay there's forgiveness here you could need to forgive someone okay someone may need to forgive you could be harvesting uh, harboring some resentments empathy growth freedom peace adversity regret someone's very regretful I know I cannot change the past okay change I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement okay so some of you you may be needing to uh, just really make a change in your life changing old uh, patterns old beliefs outdated belief systems okay old ways of uh, going about things in your life self-esteem I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others we get a uh, mermaid card. Blessings. Bottom of the deck, we have abundance. Okay, nothing else there. So right off the bat, this is just this is just simple, okay? Having the courage, strength, and the confidence to make a change, to grow, to evolve, so that you can open doors to your blessings. This could be you, this could be your person. This could be you needing to make a change, this could be just your person needing to make a change to welcome blessings. Okay, show me this change. I make fun of divine feminine to make myself feel better. Okay, so your person, this could be your masculine. He could have been making fun of you in the past. Okay, if you're a divine feminine watching this, you consider yourself a divine feminine or just a feminine energy, really. Um, your person, your masculine, you know, like they say, hurt people hurt people, okay? So he could be trying to change that, change um, his uh, uh, coping mechanism. That's what I'm getting. It's like a coping mechanism. He could try to put you down and make himself feel better because of his own lack of self-esteem. But I feel like your person is really working on their self-esteem. Whether this is a male or a female, but um, this is someone making fun of a feminine energy to make themselves feel better. Make fun of divine feminine to make myself feel better. Official person, yeah, this could definitely be a masculine. Your masculine could make fun of you. Okay, just say little slick little remarks. Okay, little passive aggressive remarks. Okay, number 22 could be relevant for some of you guys. Official person. This is definitely emperor energy. So your person is trying to um, divine masculine. This is divine masculine, okay? heavy heavy divine masculine your person is trying to become more stable more solid more structured more grounded okay the person could be in the military for some of you guys 
Okay. Show me this masculine making fun of a divine feminine or his divine feminine to make himself feel better. There's a sad face too, so he's trying to make a change. Working on his own self-esteem. Page of Pentacles, yes. So the person's starting to get serious. Okay, working on his maturity, his growth, trying to make progress to mature, to become more stable, more reliable for you. This is all about maturity. This is definitely all about maturity. Okay, some of you guys could be starting a new job, a new career. Your person, this masculine, could be thinking about starting a new job, a new career. Going into a new field. Either way, your person's ready for growth and to grow. Yes, strength reverse. Dealing with a masculine who, who definitely has struggled and could still struggle at the moment. Just definitely struggles with self-esteem. Okay. Could lack compassion for others. I feel like definitely he's been lacking compassion for you. Um, feminine. I'm going to say feminine. It could be a divine feminine. Um, this could go both ways. This could be towards a karmic feminine too. I'm just going to say feminine. This is a feminine energy. This masculine makes fun of. Okay. He's got the low self-esteem. You have been working on your self-esteem. Okay. There's been growth for you as far as that. Your confidence, your inner strength. Okay, you're um, could be dealing with a masculine that's very egotistical. Okay, this is good though. This is good because this masculine's working on that. Okay, he could be a father. This could be the father of your, of your child, children. This could be your baby daddy. <laughs> your baby daddy. Um, Nine of Cups reverse because he's just seeing he's he's the one that's unhappy inside. Okay, there could be some um, could be some depression there for your masculine for this masculine. Okay, he's unhappy with himself or has been, but there's some improvements here. get another card here nine of cups reverse this masculine yep there you go there you go it's just right off the bat look I fell right on top of the page of Pentacles this person is a narcissist so a lot of you guys your person definitely is a narcissist okay this masculine's a narcissist is what it says He's struggling, has been struggling to change his ways and to uh, move and grow beyond that. But I definitely see growth. Show me narcissist for this masculine. So it looks like the narcissist is trying to change. Wow. Judgment, self-reflecting. Your person could have been watching um, tarot, getting tarot readings done. Some of you guys, you guys could be a tarot reader. You could be very much into spirituality, spiritual teaching. Okay, I see Taurus here. There's Leo. Okay, my judgment. Your person's definitely been self-reflecting. Okay, been forced to self-reflect and... Uh, Really look themselves in the mirror. You could have told your person that he was a narcissist. But uh, the change is here. The change is definitely here.
because he's been realizing here that he's been realizing maybe he realizes he is egotistical or narcissist someone else could have pointed that out to him but it's just this here narcissist knight of pentacles reverse yep lack of growth lack of maturity lack of maturity immature Okay, I think that's just obvious. So dealing with a narcissist. Okay, that's what narcissists usually do anyways. They project a lot, a lot of projection. Project their insecurities. Okay. Okay, let's see the self-esteem. Gift. And this could be the gift. Okay. But the number 17 that tells me see there's a concern concerned about his behavior. He's concerned he knows he needs to change. High honor spirit could have stepped in. Could have some internal war within himself and some internal battle struggle with himself. Could be bipolar. Okay. But there's definitely concern. But anyways, with this number 17 card, with this gift, could be literal a gift. Could be giving you literally a gift. Okay, could be proposing to you. Could be proposing marriage. You could have given this person a gift in the past. But uh, with this number 17 card, that symbolizes to me the number 17 in the traditional tarot, Major Arcana number 17, which is the Aquarius card. Okay, it's all about healing. Healing, growth, rejuvenation, having faith, okay. staying positive and hopeful. So this is what your person is, your person you're dealing with, this could be you. Could be just you watching this. This could be both of you guys working on your self-esteem, healing, uh, self-esteem issues. But uh, self-esteem. There you go. Bottom of the deck here. I see. I downgraded with this karmic. I feel emasculated. Okay. Prepare yourself for twin flame soulmate union soon. nice. I actually, I actually like this reading, even though it says narcissist. I see your person's actually trying to make changes, though. So, and it takes a lot for a narcissist to change and to even begin to acknowledge their flaws instead of putting on illusion, manipulating, gaslighting. For those of you guys, this is your story. This resonates for you. You guys already know what it's like dealing with a narcissist. You guys already know how difficult that is, how egotistical they are. They think nothing is wrong with them. Okay, I'm not gonna get into that, but. Uh, prepare yourself for twin flame union. This is a gift for both of you guys. There's a Knight of Pentacles reversed. Your person really struggled in the past with uh, taking your relationship serious and um, being, your person struggled with being reliable to you, okay? Your person definitely struggled with commitment, very back and forth, in and out in the past. Could have taken a long time to commit to you and your guys' union, your guys' connection, just because of your person's immaturity and securities. Maybe you struggled with this also, um, but uh, it's been a long time coming is what I see, and you've been waiting for, you've been waiting quite some time for your person to truly become real serious and to mature into this official person. Ace of Cups reversed, yeah. The person could have hid a lot of their feelings, emotions from you, but with this Ace of Cups reversed, this is definitely um, about your person needing to practice self-love. This is why the relationship has been so slow moving and uh, as far as a commitment it's been it's been taking a long time lots of lack of progress 
person could have procrastinated a lot with uh, maybe giving you a gift, maybe proposing to you with marriage, a ring. Yeah, but look, seven of swords reversed. Um, this is your person wanting to come clean, right? Right, other side of the deck. Death, death, change, transformation. Your person's definitely having uh, some sort of major awakening. Could be having some sort of major spiritual awakening. Okay, but this is the death card all about death, rebirth, change, transformation. And this is exactly what this reading is all about change and this is very uh, especially relevant as we step into like I said the Sun is going into Scorpio actually uh, tomorrow so this is gonna be actually cool I'm actually excited for the Scorpio season I have my north node in Scorpio in the fourth house okay and um, shout out to all of you guys uh, Scorpio Sun uh, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay, um, North Node, and you, you guys have uh, Scorpio dominant in your chart, but anyways, let me stay on topic. Seven of Swords reversed, this is your person ready to come clean. Um, your person could have been running away, hiding from you. Um, you or your person could have been like, uh, there could have been like a runner chaser dynamic and your person was the runner. But I see your person's ready to get serious once again. Uh, ready to come clean, have a, a clean slate. Maybe your person's ready to confess something to you. Um, but uh, your person's ready to get serious. Okay. I just like to keep this simple. Just your person's ready to get serious with you. This is nice. Um, show me, I downgrade it with this karmic. Could have left you for a karmic partner. Ten of Wands reversed. Could have left you for a karmic partner. Maybe he thought it was easier. He or she thought it was easier. Your person didn't have to put much work into that situation with that other person, that karmic partner, maybe a karmic feminine. He didn't have to change. He didn't have to grow. He didn't have to evolve. He didn't have to, um, have to make any serious movement. Okay, He didn't have to work on his self-esteem. He didn't have to work on his own growth. But uh, he realizes over there is just, um, with well, that karmic partner, it's just nothing but unnecessary responsibilities. It's just been, it's become a burden. It's just very stressful. It's just, it's, there's no happiness there. There's definitely no happiness there. He realizes the grass was not greener on the other side. The world, nice. Here you go, nothing else, nothing else. Walking away from the negativity, walking away from this karmic partner that your person downgraded with. It's a little dog, could have a white dog, could have a dog. Um, but either way, when I see this card, this just tells me walking away from the negativity, could be moving out of a home. Yeah, nice, there's the blessings. This is your person trying to become the official person. You're the gift though, and your person acknowledges and is now realizing that. Okay, I feel like you played a major part in your person um, changing. Okay, their own growth, own soul's growth. Nice. Blessings, official person gift. Okay, this is just a little short reading. This resonate for some of you guys, not all of you guys, so. I will see you guys on the next video. Thumbs up. You guys can comment. You guys can subscribe. Let me know how this resonates for you. You guys let me know if this is your story. Okay. Namaste. I'll see you guys in the next one.